Hello, everybody. This is the first ever podcast on edible weeds and naturally growing plants. And we will be having a regular session weekly from now onwards on the topic and associated topics. So I hope you would enjoy, gather up, give me feedback for this. So what a surprise that my introductory session looks like a toad has got into my throat. I have no pain, no cough, but a hoarse voice, so please bear with me. I will start with something I often start my classes or workshop with. Do play along with me on this. Hope we'll enjoy. Even though you don't have an opportunity to give me real-time feedback. I request you to close your eyes and imagine you have no restriction to go anywhere. Yes, I know it's hard to imagine that now. But imagine that you have no restriction, no travel restriction, no um, restriction over time, finances, health issues, responsibility, nothing to tie you down. Close your eyes and imagine you are there in a place where you want to be right now. Notice where you are, your surroundings. I'll give you a minute to think about this. And when you are done, open your eyes, remember it. And if you have a paper and a pen nearby, um, write it down. It may be interesting. Now, slowly open your eyes, come back from your journey to wherever you wanted. And even though I cannot ask you where you were or, you know, check with your um, other people who are attending this session to know where they were, I will tell you in my experience what I usually get. In my experience, absolutely zero person chooses to be indoor say in their office, how much ever workaholic they are, or in a mall shopping, or couch, uh, in a couch watching TV. And I would say that 99% chooses to be somewhere from where they experience nature, maybe in a beach, on a mountain top, outdoors, or inside somewhere where they can enjoy nature outside their windows. I'm saying 99% keeping the option of that 1% who may choose something else, but till date, I have not found anyone. Such is our connection with nature. So what it has to do with weed and foraging or eating or coloring, we'll come to that. Maybe not all of that in one session, but we will definitely cover that during our podcast over the weeks. So now, a bit about my own journey. Um, Many of you know I am Nina. I live in Oroville, have been here for several years. I actually am an ecologist by training. And um, though I'm not a botanist, it kind of, I uh, drawn upon food uh, through gardening and food to weeds. Um, I am, however, um, trained as an ecologist and a wildlifer. So there is a bit of connection with the natural training that helped me actually get to know these plants and absolutely um, revel in their wonder. And because I was so energized by 
knowing what I learned, I wanted to share it and in a form of coloring book. So in my personal journey, I grew up as an extreme fussy eater. Moving away from home to study made me lose some of these food-related tantrums, I would say. Um, diversity is perhaps the key word in whatever I do. So diversity in food, trying them out, made me realize, after all, I could be a foodie. I hope that some of you actually have realized that in your lives that you had preference of some food and then you tried out something like something completely different and thought, hmm, I could, I could like that. I always liked to be in, with, in the nature. I realized gardening was my way to r- unwind. So between tended, manicured, domesticated and wild, my preference is always with the wild. I mean, I think most of the people do, isn't it? They have this, you know, um, um, uh, amount of an amazing force, be it wild animal or wild plants, that is hard to ignore and hard not to appreciate. Living in an urban area where one gets to experience uh, such a such a t- touch of the wild, one has to probably go out and go beyond a certain distance uh, before you can actually experience wild. And this is what the feedback I got when I actually conversed with my friends, thinking how they connect with the wild or how they connect with the nature. But one of the the, um, feedback that I got, that, oh my God, we really don't have the time We are so fast-paced in the urban life that it is, we have to take leave, plan our visit, go to some national park. And that made me very sad because nature is uh, not that separate from us. We are holding nature as you have probably experienced just at the exercise at the beginning in our hearts. So how can we actually live on a daily life? away from nature so much. So I looked for nature, which could be easily found in urban area, in semi-urban area, in rural area, and wherever. And lo and behold, it was the weeds. So what about weeds? You know, what about them? Um... One thing that I actually absolutely appreciate about weeds is, you know, they are, as I call, it's ultra-organic. You know, you don't, you don't expect them. You don't need to till for them, care for them, tend them, and they're there. And they have been there for always. It is up to you at the time that you are ready to start recognizing them and be completely flowed by them as I have been. So um, why I continue to work or still working on different aspects of weeds is that wow factor. You know, have you noticed any weed flower? I mean, such detailing, such absolute gorgeous things that they are. So at some po- at some level, I really don't even care whether they are edible, they are not, how to use them. I'm just happy knowing them and seeing them. But <clears throat> I, you know, in our in our in my journey, I have realized that all all plants, all of all food that we eat, with our, which are wild or not, and all weeds, they are all medicinal, and some of them are edible also. Now, when we say medicinal, we quickly get into this conversation. Yes, yes, yes. We have several traditions, you know, Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani, um, which actually tells us about how to use various plants in our daily lives. But even as we say that, really, do we really know them? Do we know how to look at them? Actually, in my journey, I was quite surprised to find how several of these uh, plants look like when I realized that these were the ones which are dried, put into capsules and sold in 
um, you know, in bottles uh, for some famous uh, brands of um, Ayurvedic medicines. So there you go. You know, I immediately had a connection with them, even though they are not the exact leaf I am plucking to medicate myself. But the very fact that these plants are there somehow give me an immense sense of security. Now, question of edible. Oh, my God. Like, initially, it is a journey where you actually try out just by seeing others, knowing for sure. And then it kind of, the door opens and you find out how different ways to eat them, how different ways of preparing the same thing. And this is what we experienced during the lockdown, actually. What happened is with the coloring book is that the book, as actually you might have heard in um, podcasts that Krishna did about this book, is a very experiential, it's planned to be an experiential book, that you hold it and you, and you feel different because the book is made with handmade paper, it is hand-stitched, it has no use of metal anywhere or plastic. And so immediately, even without me telling you this, you know, and you are putting tick mark to these, you will realize that this is a very different kind of book. And you open it, and it's a coloring book. It's not a regular, they're not so much of text, yet there is a huge amount of information. That's another thing. You know, we don't always equate information with the words because information can be given in several forms, and art and coloring is one of them. And it turned out to be that it's pretty amazing way of delivering um, or a, a, a teaching. When, when I planned this coloring book, um, the coloring book for adult uh, was definitely not a buzzword internationally. And there were no coloring book for adult in India. This is the first one. It took me one and a half hours, a half years to print this. And in this process, you know, one and, a, one and a half years before when I when we were planning this, there were no coloring book and it was, not, it was not in the news. But it came in the news by the time this book published because world over people realized what an amazing, amazing tool it is. Why is that? Coloring book is not just a... Uh, uh, absolutely wonderful tool for adults but people from all ages but why we have harp on the adults you might have realized that I mean all of us have noticed right that when we are younger we pick up things like language and we pick up things like how to um, you know live in certain area much easier than when we are adult and um, there might be various reasons uh, for that so barring a few people, uh, we kind of lose their amazing ability to la learn very fast uh, when we grow up. Perhaps it is one of the reasons could be that we get inhibited for doing our mistakes. And uh, as a child, you don't have that inhibition. So you are free to make mistakes, you are free to learn and you are free to advance. So as an adult, when you do have that issue, and also memory is another thing that, you know, uh, one of, if you have come for read works with me, there are certain plants I actually identify which are memory enhancing for eating. And one of them is also medicinal. There are several though. So, but memory always becomes an issue because you have so much in, them, in your mind as an adult. So for you to actually take your time to learn something new, it's not easy. It seems that coloring kind of relaxes your mind. Coloring book as you are sitting and, you know, uh, drawing within you know, the shapes of the leaves. It's not only that your mind relaxes, you're less anxious, and that opens you up for more learning. And that learning doesn't have to be like you, you know, like your regular learning. 
it kind of comes, as I say, like an osmosis to you. You kind of just draw the information in you without sometimes even you knowing. So when you do that in your off time, when you're not going out, you have learned something you've enjoyed. And then you have the time when you are able to, when you're cycling, when you're walking, you keep noticing on the side of the road. And this actually happened to be one of the key reasons why I made a coloring book and why I made on edible weed is to take our focus away from the center, which is, which is the screen. Our lives right now gets focused on the screen, be it on our mobile phone or a computer. But a lot of time, life happens in the periphery. I always give this example to our friends that, you know, in a driving test, if you are really going through a proper dri driving test, one of the last tests you must succeed before you can get a driving license is to put your, you know, face in this little, um, you know, gadget, which you don't see anything in front, but there are lights comes up from the periphery on, on different, at, or at random, and you have to be able to um, recognize them and, uh, you know, basically um, click or mark them that you have seen them. So, so much is our importance of our attention to the periphery, yet all our lives, we, you know, your, our lives get focused on the screen in front of us. So here it is, if you recognize weeds and if you recognize the edible weeds, your life suddenly you recognize along the path, along around your house, in your uh, yard, in your little pot that you have kept it in, the, in, your, um, in your balcony, you have weeds which you have never seen before and you have never known them before. Now you know their names. And, and perhaps you know how to use them. You figure out how to use them. And the next time you use them, you kind of adapt to your liking. And this is what happened during the lockdown, where many people who, who came to the weed box with me and who had an interest, who perhaps knew, knew that this is edible, but still didn't have that last push to incorporate in their diet or to kind of adapt and experiment with it, how wonderfully they can be incorporated. But lockdown became an opportunity. And this, in this opportunity, they are people who actually had such creative um, explosions, I would say. And we have a, a WhatsApp page where they were almost daily some kind of a recipes and some kind of a, you know, wonderful um, new way of using the same thing were being posted. And this is far beyond what I had personally managed to experience. So this is a collective learning and it doesn't become my learning, my telling you how this weed is eaten or my showing you how this weed to recognize this weed. It becomes all our learning. It becomes a collective process. And that is personally that's what I absolutely love because it is actually based on science. It is based on observation. It's based on learning and it's based on collective science. And this is what we call a citizen science that, you know, the citizens are collectively um, participating and enhancing this learning process and have a knowledge base. Um, so, um, so <clears throat> this is what have been um, our journey for so long. And I will be definitely talking about, um, you know, what a little more about what is foraging, about what, uh, why, why we are doing, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, about each plant maybe from time to time and um, what not to forage where to forage from. These are the some of the topics we will probably cover in our future podcasts. Um, I would we would rather go in a little slow pace because then I think that it um, you know we get to listen, learn, give feedback, and uh, 
then figure out how best to learn together. How is that? All right, I see you then next week. And if you have any feedback, do write uh, at edibleweedwalk at oroville.org.in. And you are welcome to subscribe to the YouTube channel where we put a virtual read work now since that we are unable to do actual read work. So there are some little videos uh, put every now and then. We do also have a Facebook page, which is Edible Weed Walk also, where I on a regular basis, almost daily, I put a, about one weed, but a lot of information on how to, how they, ben how they are uh, edible, what are their benefits, how they are incorporated in diet and various ideas around that. So do subscribe to them and write to us. Thank you so much. See you next time.